don't like to be an observer looking distantly at something. I want it to engage me and take me there. It's not simply the place, the furniture, the wardrobe, what the streets look like, and all that detail, which is terribly important, but it's also period accurate attitude psychology, the absence of psychology. He is very interested in internal life. Internal life is 90% of all of his notes. Doing the deep dive and trying to recreate a cultural reality and a psychological reality. Excuse me, please, my husband isn't here. He's out, whoring. Grazie, buongiorno. What's the stereotypical marriage in bourgeois, regional, provincial Modena in 1957? What's the authority structure? Because Enzo's irreverent. He disputes authority and makes his own way. If Anthony is looking for a scapegoat, then here I am. But that's different than somebody exercising free will where there's no authority structure and they don't have something to push against. When we lose, you're a lynch mob. No, no, no. It's enough to make the Pope weep. It's the value system, it's all of those things, and that's not work, that's the adventure of it. And I can't imagine any reason to do it any other way. You've generated all of these unresolved things without how they all turn out. Michael is not only paying attention to our performances, he's paying attention to the way the light is moving in every single take, the way the camera operator is conducting his business, and there's so many different elements at play. Get some people to walk through. I don't see anybody, it's all too static. He's a conductor. He's waiting for the, that perfect, perfect symphony to come together. His focus is, I think, challenging for a lot of people. Let's go. Because you have to just be with him and just go on the ride and just expect the unexpected and be ready to go with it. And I think that's a good artist, is they take what's happening in front of them, very much like what's going on in the car on the track, and you adapt and you make it work for you. Let's get that camera in. Okay. Okay. For me, director photography is, is a casting process. I think we should try and get the over at the same time. I wanted a particular kind of active lighting that's apparent in Caravaggio's paintings where the light seems to enter very dramatically. And it's almost as if accidentally the light is hitting a part of a leg, a hand, slice of light hits a face. Michael's command of the frame, his use of the frame is such a signature of his, and it's specifically tied to what's happening dramatically in the scene between the characters. Thank you, Mark. The dramatic scenes have a certain stateliness and uniformity within the color and the camera movements, and then opposed to that every time there's a race car. And the race cars are red, vibrant, savage. When we get in the cars, the camera's handheld, and it's in the passenger seat next to the driver, and you feel the road noise, and you feel the dust on your face. You could easily have made this a movie that's just cars moving fast. But I never feel like in Michael's movie he sacrifices character for any kind of spectacle. Ready? And roll, please. Michael gives his actors space and is intelligent enough to not control that. There is a shorthand, there's that respect. When to give them something that will open them up or when to kind of, you know, be invisible. He's there holding your hand through that process. He's thought of every angle. We all know it's our deadly passion, our terrible joy. A millimeter will change everything for him. That's good, that's good. But not to say that he doesn't have his own sense of improvisation himself. He still is making up shots and following impulses. He is like nonstop for like 16 hours a day. And I know that when he goes home, he keeps writing or editing. And he's a machine. And cut. Says. Right, no deal. This is an era in which the cars, particularly the Ferraris, made a tremendous amount of power. Everything in the Ferraris was cutting edge, but the racing of the period was lethally dangerous. The mortality rate of the spring team from 56 to 58 is about 50%. So what possesses these men in the prime of their life to do something like this? 
Make no mistake, all of us are racers, or I have been. We all are certain it will never happen to me. The answer is the belief that it's never going to happen to me. And my friend is killed. I give up racing forever on Monday. I'm back racing by Sunday. But the addiction puts you right back in that seat. We all know it's our deadly passion. Our terrible joy. We replicated those cars by doing 3D LiDAR scans of real cars. And uh, then we put that the, the shape together with a tubular chassis, which we designed. This is much better. Why? Oh, and we look at other objects that are designed, you know, 70 years ago. They don't stand the test of time. These are museum objects. They're absolutely stunning and are gorgeous. And they're not self-conscious art objects. No one is sitting there in a Ferrari saying, oh, let's make an art object that moves. But it's just the opposite. And so Ferrari is saying, I build engines to risk the car you get for free. And they're not designed to look good. They just do look good. It looks better. In all life, when a thing works better, usually it is more beautiful to the eye. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.